Uh, first things first, yes, I'm declaring. <laughs> <laughs> Not coming back as a sixth year senior. For, for the Rose Bowl, Urban's last game for all of you. I'm really pumped for it. Um, you know, it's something as young kids, it's something you play on NCAA. And so it's something that you always want to be a part of. And in the show. And you get the chance to be in it. You know, it's, it's important. And the same coach Meyer on the right, sent him out the right way is also important to us as well. Uh, definitely. Uh, like JD said, you know, growing up, this is definitely a game that, um, you know, you dream of playing in. And you know, for us to have that opportunity is huge. Um, obviously, you know, we like to send Coach Meyer out the right way and also send the seniors out the right way. Um, so we're very excited. Yeah, same thing, pretty much. Uh, this last game of the season, we'll go off on the right note. It was a fun, we had fun, and enjoy the moment, especially for these older guys. That's how we get to play with them. So uh, I'm really excited to be in, be in Rose Bowl. Does the Rose Bowl mean anything to any of you guys in comparison to how other bowl games may stack up? It's definitely. You, know, you still have to go out and win the game. It's, it's just not another BS moment. You know, you have to go out there and be prepared because if you don't, you get embarrassed. Obviously, you guys are, are the leaders of this team. Paris, as you look at this club, how, how focused is this club right now? And, mm -hmm. you know, it's, it's almost like this season, this season has been the season of distractions. Yeah. Um, yeah, I mean, I think we're very focused. Um, obviously, you know, we don't play the game tomorrow. Um, we're working our way up. We have different phases. Um, you know, phase one is over, which is, you know, development. Phase two is um, game plan, and we're starting that next week. Um, but I think as this time, you know, wears down and um, we get closer to the game, I think the focus will become more intent. Um, but this, this group is just enjoying each other right now, uh, enjoying, you know, the older guys, enjoying Coach Meyer, um, and enjoying this, you know, the last couple of moments we have to do. Hey, Dwayne, despite all the distractions, I guess you call them off the field, um, you guys went 12-1, and one, you guys shattered school records. You personally shattered a lot of records. Heisman finalists. I mean, just reflect on how you guys were able to do that despite some of the distractions. Yeah, we're not done breaking records yet, so that was uh, sure. Uh, but honestly, it's been a lot of fun dealing with these guys. Remember when I was a young pup, and these guys were the older guys getting ready for, for practice and, and for games. And uh, you know, it's been a lot of you know, growth and experience over the last season, or well, this season. And uh, it's been a lot of fun to be able to play every Saturday despite all the distractions, despite all the things that went on off the field. But um, on the field, we had a blast. Dwayne, you've been fun to watch. Uh, and we kind of watched you grow up before us. And obviously, having these older guys around helped you a lot. Uh, people are talking about, you know, where you could go when this bowl game's over. Have you thought about that? Have you talked about your family? Because, you know, let's face it, everyone's goal is to play at the next level. Where's your mind right now? Yeah, I mean, right now, I'm from Washington, uh, of course. NFL talk is there, and everybody hears it. And that's just a blessing to be a part of. And, you know, it's been a dream come true. But um, as far as making a decision, I haven't made one yet. So I've got a lot of time here left at Ohio State. And, uh, just taking it day by day, making this decision after the bowl game. So I just want to be fully in the body and then make sure I give my guys and everything I can give over the last couple of days of practice and the last few weeks of the season. And I sent Coach Meyer off on the right note. How guys, hard would it be to walk away from here, bro? No, oh, extremely hard. But, uh, you know, it's been a dream of to play here for a long time. And, uh, you know, it's been a blessing to be a part of this team, part of this university, part of my teammates. And, uh, you know, that could be a hard decision to make. But uh, I'm just excited to fit on the season strong. Guys, kind of going off of Dave's question, I mean, you guys are 12 and 1. All those records are <coughs> broken. You won your conference. You're going to play in the Rose Bowl, all of that. But it's not going to end in a national championship. Do you think that maybe the college football playoff has diluted what is considered a successful? <laughs> <laughs> out of what has been considered a success. Like, do you guys consider this a successful season, even though it's not going to? Most definitely. Um, obviously, you know, the college football playoff is set. And, you know, we around here, we don't discredit to the committee uh, because ultimately, you know, our season is our, in our hands. And obviously, you know, we had a hiccup where we took a, uh, a loss at Purdue. Uh, you know, ultimately, that's, that's in our hands. You know, no one controlled our season but ourselves. So, um, but we're Big Ten champs. Um, I think people kind of forget that. Um, we, we take that very serious. That's uh, you know our number one goal all season. You know we accomplished that, and um, we're going to finish out the season successful. Uh, hopefully with a Rose Bowl. I'm sure John, one of you John guys, Lewis. in one way, shape, or form, were asked this. But I mean, you know, kind of what Taylor just said, and with Urban's announcement. Does playing in this game and with his announcement kind of add a little more juice, though, to playing in the Rose Bowl and considering the fact that it's the, you know, the granddaddy of them all? Yeah, of course. Um, you know, it means more for these guys. And, of course, it means a lot to me, but it's the fifth year. You know, the 
last game as a Buckeye. And um, to have Coach Meyer come to our house, recruit us, and since we were sophomores in high school, you know, to send them on the right note, you know, it helps that it's in California, it helps that it's in the Rose Bowl, it helps that it's granddaddy of them all. You know, I grew up watching Troy Smith play USC, not Troy Smith, sorry, uh, Vince Young. And uh, I mean, it is a, it is a great game, a lot of history there, and we're just glad to be a part of it. We're just going to pull the receivers out. Anyone who wants to talk to the receivers, just come on out here. You got leave me? <laughs> Dwayne. My quarterback. My quarterback. <laughs> we know Urban's one of the